Hey everyone, welcome back to another FM Live episode. I'm Matt here at Flying Miata. We're going to be covering our Happy Meal Clutch Kits. We offer these kits for every generation except the ND at this time. Um, here we have, we have some components on the box here that shows you what you will exactly get in the kit. Uh, first, we'll start off with the lightweight flywheel. It is for the NA and NBs right around it is actually at 10.3 pounds. Uh, this offers you quicker revs, a um, little easier to rev match. So it's pretty handy when you're uh, sport racing or at the track. All the kits come with an organic disc that helps with easier transitions for power. We don't really like the puck system just because they're a little bit more harsh on transitioning the power. Uh, for the NA and NBs, we do offer two different stages. Stage one is for uh, cars that are going to be right around 320 foot-pounds of torque at the rear wheels, and stage two will be about 350 at the rear wheels. Stage two does have a heavy, a heavy clutch pedal, um, but we are able to offer the lighter clutch pedal really close to the stock form on the stage one. So if you think you're going to be doing a lot of uh, city driving, uh, traffic jams of that type, um, I wouldn't suggest the Stage 2 just because of the heavier clutch pedal. It's not unbearable, but uh, you will notice once you get out of the car that you've been operating a little bit. All kits come with a throwout bearing, a pilot bearing, and an inst installation tool. And then we have this handy little bracket here that I'll show you here in a little bit to eliminate the uh, clutch safety override. We like to have that in the kit so that you don't have to depress the clutch when you do a, a start. Uh, it helps on the throw out bearing issues that we had in the 99s, I think. It was a main, main concern, <clears throat> excuse me. So that always helps. Uh, it's a little bit of a different starting procedure at, at the beginning, just because you always need to remember that you are, you are in neutral, but after a week, you always check your car, make sure it's in neutral, and you fire it up with no issues. Okay, let's see. Ah, for the NC bunch, the flywheel weights for those are going to be right at 8.4 pounds on the lightweight flywheel. And you'll see the, all these components in the NC kits also. Same deal, lightweight flywheel for the NC is going to provide quicker revs, easier to rev match, and just a little, little bit more responsive car. You're in tune with your car this way. Um, the main reason we're doing this video is to show everyone that there is a different procedure for our clutch kits on the install, specifically on the hydraulic system. So over here I have a slave cylinder, which is always good to check um, on a clutch system. When you're doing a clutch system, we always pull back the boot and you can see that if it's leaking or not, it'll be a leaking internally there. You won't be able to see if, unless you pull the boot back, that it's leaking. Uh, so if you check that, you're good. We kind of think of these as more maintenance items than a kind of a life cycle. Uh, we're, we're getting to the end of the hydraulic system while we're doing all these clutch upgrades. So this is more of a maintenance item for us now. So to the install on the, or I'm sorry, after the install, after you bleed your system, you know there's no air in it, you're going to go to underneath the car and following the instructions that we have online, you will first off, let's see here. So this is gonna be the firewall. Your driving driver is here. We'll look at the upper switch and it takes a 17 millimeter wrench to loosen the jam nut. And we want you to have this switch flush with the nut. As you can tell, or maybe you can tell, that I'm backing it out all the way flush to this nut right there. At that time, we will tighten the jam nut back up with our wrench. And what we're doing here is allowing us to have more throw on the hydraulic system. Next is the rod adjustment. It takes a 12 millimeter wrench, crack it loose, and we want to adjust this out, so more length, so that we have good contact, because we just brought the pedal pressure, the pedal up, so now the rod's gonna be loose. 
we're going to be adjusting it with our hands. I'll keep my big meats out of the way. <clears throat> we'll be adjusting it out so you just start to get a little bit of tension on the master clutch cylinder. At that time, go ahead and do a couple clutch depressions, build the system back up. You'll slide underneath the car, and at that time, we want to make sure that you can still depress the clutch slave piston back into the reservoir. Um, it does take a little bit of resistance, but you can do it by hand. And what we're missing in the picture here is the clutch fork, so it'll be slightly covered like this. I usually just grab a hold of it with my fist, push it back. It'll slowly go into the, into the slave cylinder, so we know we haven't gone too far. What we're trying to do is have maximum travel here while not covering up the master piston. Um, if you go too far with this adjustment, you've slid, yeah, sorry, I don't have another example here. You've slid the uh, clutch master piston too far past the opening and you will block it. When that happens, you won't be able to push this clutch slave piston back into the bore. So now you know you've gone too far. I actually do like to go a little bit too far, just so you know where you're at. At that time, once you can't depress the, the slave piston back into the cylinder, I just turn this back by a quarter, so uh, shorten it by a quarter of a turn, do a couple three pedal depressions, go back and check your slave at that time. Uh, once you're there, go ahead and take the car out for a quick spin. What you're trying to do is get you know, minimum three quarters to maybe an inch of travel off of the floorboard before it starts to engage. Some components, um, some cars allow, don't allow you to have that much free play at the bottom, but that's what we're striving to do. Um, I think that's my spiel. Do we have any questions at all? No Did I go questions. too fast? Do I need to refresh? No, we got a thumbs up, but no questions. Hey, all right. Well, I did go a little bit fast. My apologies. If you guys do have any more questions, please go down to the comments tab and post those. Um, we will get to those later on if we don't see them at the live stream here. This isn't a question, but I'll just go ahead and ask. Uh, you want to show how to install the uh, clutch switch override? Uh, thank you, Kyle. That's true. So the thing that I said I was going to mention that I didn't right here, this is actually going to go on the the, the uh, clutch safety switch. Um, let's see, so we're all the way up. So when you, on the factory system, when you try to crank the car without the pedal depressed, it's not gonna work because this is, uh, completing the, is not completing the circuit. Once we have our little tab here, you slip it over the piston first. And then, you can see how I'm struggling now, it's real fun under the car. Push it back, it snaps in, it depresses this, just like you would have if you had the foot, your clutch depressed. So this will help with your thrust bearing wear. And if you don't drive your car all throughout the year, um, you know, you only drive it seasonally, this, this will help uh, give some lubrication before you depress or have that constant um, pressure on the throttle bearing. My apologies. The thrust bearing in the engine. So, what do you think now? Uh, what are the advantages of having pedal play at the bottom? Um, it allows you you know you're, that you're not at the maximum <clears throat> of the travel. Um, I you can have the pedal up higher. Some people like to have their engagement and disengagement higher up in the travel. Um, with this system, it'll probably take three quarters of throw instead of a half of a throw to get your clutch to, uh, disengaged. So it's a bit of a preference. I like to have it coming off the floorboard uh, just so that you know that you're not, that you have full disengagement at that time. Well, it looks like we're pretty good on the questions so far. Um, if you do have any more questions, please put them on the tab below. And thanks for joining us with this Facebook Live. I believe we're going to be at 2 o'clock, our scheduled time, next Thursday for our next FM Live episode. Thanks for joining, everybody. Have a great night.